today I'm painting on the coolest part of my entire life. Seriously, this part has it all. But there is also a problem. Hello guys, my name is Doke and first of all I need to tell you the story behind today's painting. Embrace yourself because it's an uh, interesting one. Especially the beginning is, well, unexpected. Long story short, it all started right over here with a fight. Or if you want, a discussion with the angry biker. Thanks to the video that I recorded back then about the incident, I got in touch with the local authorities and we talked about many things, such as legal walls and other interesting stuff. The fact that I was born in this location and the fact that I still live over here boosted the conversation even more. One of the things that we talked about was the possibility to paint the spot. Everything was already prepared for the painting, but you know, then Corona happened and everything gone crazy. Fortunately, things got better and I can proudly say that I'll paint the coolest spot of my life. So please, let me show you what does that mean. So, this is it. This is the spot that I'm about to paint. This building is located on a busy street in the middle of my neighborhood with two bus stops right in front of it and a ton of windows surrounding the object. There is not just one wall, there is a plenty of them and the highlight is that there are two rooftops which is like, it's like the best thing that can happen to a graffiti writer or artist or whatever because you're painting on the top. It is just awesome and there is also a special easter egg. Do you see this building? This building over here? That's a place where I was born. That's where I lived for the first 12 years of my life. So I know this building literally my whole life. Before I start with the painting, I need to pay respect to these graffiti pieces. Some of them are already pretty much destroyed, but I've been growing up on these tags because this is my neighborhood. Sooner or later, all of them would disappear because the building is going through a minor reconstruction, but yeah, I wanted to appreciate them before they are gone. The very first thing that I need to do is to prepare the wall for the actual painting. Then I'll paint it with the base color and after that I can apply the, the design. The only problem is that after like three weeks it seems that it will be raining, finally. Although the weather forecast said that it won't. <laughs> It's been four hours already and so far everybody thinks that I'm a classic painter. But look at that. Look how it matches with the original color of the building. Alright, perfect. It's ready. Right now, I need to get down. All right. Ooh.
as you have seen I had a letter over there but I left for a lunch and the stuff of this building hide the letter for me in a good will at least I think so so right now I have a problem <sighs> I'm here. I really hope that my letter isn't stolen and it's locked in the building. Because if it's stolen, I'll have a serious problem tomorrow. time to talk about the problem it's not the fact that it is high or that it's super windy today you know this building is a kindergarten and it is not really a place for some kick-ass graffiti pieces or badass characters it's more of a place for something cute so you might be wondering why am I doing this when I can't paint whatever I want you might think that I do this for money as a commission, which is not really the case. I get some money, but just for my costs. But I still do it because of several reasons. First of all, painting something out of my traditional art style is a thing that I do on a weekly basis. But probably the biggest reason why I do this is that one of my major goals is to get opportunities to paint street art at such places, at spots like this. I would love to make cities more beautiful with my art. I would like to make people happy with my art. And frankly, I would love to see my art for more than a one day, especially at places like this one. And before we start with the painting day number two, let me show you new products that recently arrived to my eShop, doko.com. Voila! Three brand new prints created out of my canvases, original canvases over there. And let me just say that they are fire. The way how they turned out is just insane. All of them are signed by me and all of them are limited editions. And well, just look at them. All of them are available in the shop right now. There is a link in the description below that will take you right to the shop, okay? that the fill-in goes out of the outline is inspired by kids coloring books I remember using these and it was always so hard to stay in the outlines you know because the outlines were given and you were just making the fill but I always didn't do it properly Mm-hmm. 
time to move on or actually time to move up <sighs> this is like a workout in a gym. How can there be more to explain? No, I won't go down the drain. Do you know these videos where people jump on such a roofs? Well, during this painting, I can't stop thinking about them. He destroyed my painting stick. Why? Why would you do that? Should work. <laughs> yep, it's crushed. I've been using this stick for like a year. No, 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 no. I left the keys from the car up there. done this was not an easy project with all the preparation but also with all the climbing but yeah it's one hell of a spot especially the roof and yeah I hope that this might be a beginning of something uh, bigger you know just as I said I would love to get opportunities to paint at places like this it would be the best if I can paint whatever I want but even if you have to follow some guidelines you can have fun and all the kids that are crossing by are looking at the kindergarten and they're like whoa what happened and yeah so probably that was the purpose this is it